this is the first game that actually worked. Yeah, because uh, the first movie when it came out, I also bought the, the game about first movie on my PlayStation 3. And you know what? It wasn't good. It was really bad. Uh. I, I didn't like it at all. It was so uh. slow, it was so... Well, not right for me. Uh, I completely agree with this. We need to get to the Decagon fast. Are the Iacon Speedway still drivable? Uh, from the sky, they look barely usable. But you can try. Good luck, Optimus. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come. There's still We're one weak point with this game. Do my best. We are uh, always, uh, almost always doing the same thing. We kill enemies, we stop, we talk. We kill enemies, we stop, we talk. It's, all, it's always the same order. Well... There's no other way, that's what we are supposed to do. Yeah. Oh, I for I think they should have uh, integrated the uh, update for the or characters to improve them uh, during the play. Yeah, right. I, you know, I also forgot to mention about this game that I really like the uh, soundtrack in this game. It's uh, really well composed. Yep. You know yep, who, uh, you know who uh, wrote music for this? This game uh, have both musical... Uh, it's, it's really working. The music isn't... Uh, the music is really epic, first of all. And the voice acting is really good. Well, Something we don't... We don't really see often in the, those kind of games. Yeah, I really like it because, well, obviously, Optimus Prime is voiced by the same guy who voiced in three movies and in he, and in cartoons, and uh, yeah. music is composed by. Where are you going? Music is composed by this guy Brian Tyler, who. <laughs> who worked on different uh, film projects and uh, game music he also wrote well for the infamous uh, Modern Warfare 3 yes he wrote music for it <laughs> too bad but still whoa and also he wrote music for Need for Speed to Run but I haven't played it yet are we dead? oh no we no, we're main Injured, characters. But <laughs> we can die. Bumblebee is only uh, injured. <laughs> what a dick. Bumblebee, I'll give you some oil and you'll feel fine. You'll be fine. What the hell? Snipers. Careful. I'll try to help you out. Uh, save him, save him. I'll cover you. Perfect. Camel, you little bastards, where are you? Let's go, the bot, we can do this. Oh, sh shoot. Yeah, that's right. Now you're dead. Actually, I can say one thing about it. It's the first ever game that Activision didn't fucked up. Yeah, Activision can fuck up some Spider-Man games. Can fuck up uh, a lot of games. But this one doesn't feel like it. It looks uh, polite. And it's a good one. Not contaminated, if I can say it like this. So. I really enjoy it and I can't say anything bad well, except for ammo thing and uh, life support. Yeah, it, it's because the PC version is, is as, isn't as polished as the console version, sadly. Well, it's become a natural business to do console games priority than PC. Yeah. Let me. Uh, 
And I recently watched a new trailer for uh, Fall of Cybertron and showed yeah. uh, this new new Autobot Grimlock, who is T-Rex. It's really awesome looking. He's like ripping apart enemies, uh, throwing them across battlefield, and doing such a big damage. He's just awesome. What the hell? He's producing cubes? He's, he's making health packs for us. We must <laughs> say thanks to him. Alright, we gotta kill this guy. Alright, let's go. Heavy from Team Fortress Room. Haha, you're dead. Heavy is dead. Nice. And of course, Optimus Prime gets the bigger weapon. Wow. Optimus Prime is a dick in this game. <laughs> he knows how to say cheesy lines. I wonder if he'll say this thing again. One shall stand, one shall fall. Oh wait, he's already said it in opening cutscene. Yep. It is true. A Decepticon war machine. I've seen these in the archives. They're used to For me it's like a giant tarantula. So I guess this is the boss of this chapter. Uh, yeah, I think so. Shoot its lights out. Alright. Let's do it. Ah oh, no, not not right now. I've got no ammo left. Are you serious? Oh no, I'm about to... Oh no! No, I found some. Okay, one more. Oh, 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 oh. I, I think I'm gonna die. Nope. Oh no, I found a cube. I'm alright. Yep. Alright. Oh. Let's shoot this fucker. I have no ammo. How am I supposed to do it? Oh, oh, oh my god, you almost killed me. Whoa, what is that thing? No way. Die now, die, 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 die. I, uh, yes, yes, he's there. Yes. Nice. Oh, here's some ammo. Go screw yourself, fucking machine. What? This wasn't the chapter bus? No, I, that would be too easy. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Let's continue. Admit this game is really fun to play. There's a really important point that uh, when we review a game, it is never mentioned. A yeah. game can be a, a game can really be of uh, low uh, high quality, but can be boring as hell. Yeah, that's true. But this game isn't a top-notch quality game, but it is really fun. I mean, I don't bore myself when I play, and that's really important. I fully agree, because uh, sometimes uh, 
when I play, I just uh, want uh, to finish it quickly and then uh, delete from my PC because uh, I don't want it yep. anymore, I can't stand it anymore, but uh, I want to finish it quickly so I understand uh, what's gonna happen next. Yeah, it's like, um, that, well, it's my personal, personal opinion, but uh, the first Assassin's Creed 3, the, I, I really like the story, but uh, the gameplay between the different murders was uh, kinda, kinda getting repetitive and boring, so I wanted to finish Assassin's Creed 1 as fast as possible to get uh, to start playing Assassin's Creed 2. Yeah, I'm agree. As I just uh, finished recently the latest one, Revelations, I uh, just want to see what the story will lead to. I Gameplay is really repetitive, of course, for all these years, but uh, I just want to see how it will end. And now we all wait for the third game to come out this October. Yep. So, lots of problems, especially for being in the America... American Revolution, yes, American with British guys. Yeah. People gonna rage for this. But they must understand that it's uh, not supposed to be uh, true events, it just... Uh, no, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's a fan, it's a fan story, not a fan story, but... Uh, it's a work of uh, some people yeah. who put their minds in this fiction. Yeah, but... Uh, the events are real, but uh, who we see there, they... Uh, well, they may be not real, or or something else. So people really need to understand it. By the way, uh, have you played uh, the Transformer games uh, uh, from uh, made from the movies? Yeah, uh, yeah. I told uh, earlier that I played uh, the very first uh, from the movie, Michael Bay. Alright, uh, are the, those games good or they are really boring? They... I think they're all three of them are boring. I I didn't play second or third game, but for me, the first one, it was enough for me to understand that it wasn't so good. Alright, so I guess War for Cybertron is unique? Yes, but it's unique, it's not on Earth, it's about Cybertron. It's. It's, it's clearly about, uh, well, how it's supposed to be. Yeah. The game is made by fans, for fans, as I said earlier, so uh, I appreciate the hard work uh, the developer team put. Yeah. And uh, it's a good way for me who didn't uh, watch the, online, uh, the cartoon or uh, read any uh, comic book. Uh, I, don't know that, I don't know a lot of things about Transformer, but... Uh, it gives me visual or about how uh, how uh, the, oh, the transformer came to Earth. What was their uh, main planet before getting to Earth? Yeah, I know uh, because uh, right now they're releasing this animated Transformers called Transformers Prime, I think, and people say only good about it, so. I might in future download and watch it. Yeah. So maybe it's interesting. If if the show have uh, good writing, uh, it's I'm pretty sure I'll watch it. Yeah. I think so. What, what are those guys? They look Bad. different. Bad guys. Well, if you see the purple, purple guys shooting you, they're bad guys. <laughs> I just figured that uh, it's uh, easy to recognize uh, one side from the other. The bad guys are purple. The good ones are red one. Yep. 